Dr. Erwin are currently sitting first on the ladder and RHA are currently sitting second. Both of them had big, comprehensive, um, morale-boosting wins last week. Win of the year. Injection from Bridley. Thomas with the flick, saved by McCausland onto the body of the OHA attacker. Umpires decide that it's a penalty corner instead, and I think they would probably have a bit of a claim against that. But it's a follow-up penalty corner. Uses the run of Grundy down the left now. Grundy wants to take on Leslie. Stopped. Leslie finds McCambridge, and McCambridge with a burst of speed cutting through the inside looking for runners that's a fantastic ball to the spot out comes McCausley and, and cleans it up before Kurt Budgen could get on the end of it and now OHA lining up for their penalty corner perfect time to score Thomas drag flick low bang hits the base hits the uh, backboard beats the keeper and James Thomas has I want to say that's his first Drag flick conversion for it is Winch and Anchor at the top of one battery to flick and hit, and Angus Bolton at the top of a, another battery. So plenty of attacking options. Injection comes. It is Winch once again with a drag flick onto the body of the runner. Jake Morton can convert their third attempt. Winch once again, good save by Chambers. Called on again, Mardell on his reverse. Um, just getting over the top of that one. So it is quarter time. OHA do and around. And now Broad beyond the left, stolen off him from McCambridge. Good second touch from McCambridge too to Budgen and Budgen slips it in and McCambridge has just, just put it wide. Nice little team up between two, well, between two potential starters on the forward line. Triple strikers on top of the battery and Anchor, Bolton and Winch. Winch again with a drag flick. Again, Jake Morton runs it down, wears it on his shin pad in Tasmanian club hockey. It's another penalty corner for Derwent though. This time it's anchored with a direct hit. And again, Jake Morton runs it down. And you can see him sucking in the big rest and he gets a pat on the bum from the Derwent players too because they recognize a decent shout for a penalty. Um, but instead, one more penalty corner. Can they be successful this time? It's Bolton instead, saved on the line by James Thomas. The ball did slip through for Henry Curtis, who tapped it over the sideline, but the umpire had already called another penalty corner. That's Aaron Kitchener there. And I think just gave a little bit of an apology to the down players too. Of course, he was not to know that the ball would fall so nicely. Once more. And once more, it's run down so... An incredible sequence of penalty corners. Oh, and he's hit the post. Drag flick from Winch. Beats Chambers in goals, but hits the post. Let penalty corner defence. Linda McCarthy has probably a bigger reputation. Oh, and Thomas has absolutely sunk that one into the same... Right hand corner of the goalkeeper that he did his first one, and that's number two on the board. Relatively even. OHA are 2 0 up at the moment, though, because the opportunities that they've been given, they've taken. Here's a chance for McCarthy. He takes the shot, and Henry Chambers comfortably saves it. circle. Good little touch from Anchor, but the ball has fallen in favour of OHA instead. Budgeon, well that's lazy defending from Winch really, and Vince is able to get into the circle, fire a shot away, great save from Magnus McCausland. Don't think Harry Winch is going to be happy when he sees 
that back on the replay. Up once again, we'll look for a hat trick. I wouldn't put it past him. He does go for the flick. He goes low to the right instead and puts it wide. Team. And he'll be hoping to be part of that group once again in 2021 as they load up for the second edition of that competition. But it's OHA in attack through Morton down the right hand side. Twist, turns, puts it back to the spot. McCambridge over the top of it. Ball still loose. Fired in by Budgeon and diving is Magnus McCausland. He gets a big glove to it and sends it flying over the top. There'll just be three defenders in the goalkeeper for Derwent defending his penalty corner. Gone for the second battery instead, not Thomas. Magnus McCausland makes another big save. It's fallen to McCambridge. Opportunity there inside the circle for OHA, but down straight away. Wanted to get the move, ball moving, but no options further up the line, and so they're forced to transfer a train. It is Thomas directly again. Oh, I thought I saw the net move, and it was wide instead. Um, off a defender, so just for a moment there, I thought Thomas had got his third, but back up the pitch for Dylan. Good run from Broadby. He fires away a shot from the top of the circle and sends it wide. And that just about sums up Derwent's day. Being able to create chances, but having to be able to get anything really clean.